with Tiffany here, and I'm here with Colm from Malibu Compost. Now, composting is kind of all the rage now. I hear about it all the time. I've actually been trying to learn a lot about it. But this is a, a biodynamic compost, so what makes that different? Well, biodynamics looks not only at not using organics, which is the absence of chemicals and fertilizers, but it's looking to actually heal the earth and work with the rhythm of the earth and bring the soil back into balance. Okay. So you see biodynamics in cosmetics, yes, and wine, Dr. Hauschka. And, food. and wine. Yes, I've tried the wine too. It's really good. Wine's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Although any wine's delicious, but biodynamics delicious. Yes. How long have you been in business? We opened the company. We sold our first bag of compost November of 2009, and now we're in seven states and about 350 stores. Wow, that's exciting! Congratulations. So two and a half years. So if you buy a bag of compost. Um, you were saying how it makes the soil diff the soil's different, so it kind of gears to the soil of its needs in the different areas. Is exactly. That, yeah. Soil's a living organism, so it's meant to be in balance. You and I, we're living organisms, we're meant to be in balance. And if we get the sniffles, we don't go to the hospital and get antibiotics. We get multivitamins, echinacea, vitamin C, maybe we take a nap. <laughs> so, the same approach to the soil. Mm -hmm. um, soil's meant to be in balance. So the compost adds to the soil all the nutrients, but also the life and the vitality. That it's more than just nitrogen, potassium, calcium, but there's living forces in the soil because the soil's alive. Nice, and what were some of the ingredients that you had mentioned that were, I've never heard of them before. Well, dairy cow manure is the first. We start certified that. organic dairy cow manure, the premium poop. <laughs> Then we lay it in piles, we add certain herbs and minerals, which are preparations, and they stimulate different aspects of the plant. The plant's intelligence, its relationship and ability to release nutrients to the plant when it needs it, as opposed to commercial agriculture, which looks at the plant like it's on chemotherapy. Oh. It's just, it gets drip, drip, it never knows where its next meal's coming from. Whereas plants are alive, if they know what's around them, they'll take the food they need when they need it. So. You have a poop, you can smell it, it smells like the forest. It smells good. All the aspects, and then you mix it in with your soil. Nice. And I, I love your logo, too. It's, uh, it starts with the cow, premium poop, right? <laughs> yes. We wanted to bring attention to the cow industry and the dairy cow, because the dairy cow is a unique type of manure. It's digestive process, as well as the enzymes the mother produces during the lactation period, um, is a perfect probiotic for the soil. So it heals the soil and it helps the plant get back into balance as well. So that's Boo, our rescue cow. Oh, Boo is a rescue we, cow. We uh, adopted her from the slaughterhouse. <gasps> now she lives in Fresno. She's got a Facebook page and a Twitter feed, Surfing Cow. I'm going to friend her. She's <laughs> awesome. She's the champion of her herd. She's Aww. happy. She comes when you call. And, you know, she's living a life that most cows should live. Oh, my gosh. You're doing a good thing here, Colm. So show me what you were showing me this earlier, this, this tea bag thing. Oh, yes. Okay, you call this a tea bag. This is like a cow-sized tea bag. What is this? Yes, it's booze brew. Oh, it is booze brew. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to brew a tea. Okay. But this is a compost tea, so you don't drink it unless you're a plant. Don't drink it. <laughs> so you get tea bags in here. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop it in water. Okay, and soak it overnight. Oh. Okay. Microbes, there's about five to 10 billion microbes in there. Okay, they're just lying dormant like a bear in its cave in the winter time. I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> so it wants food, it wants air, and it wants water. Okay. So we soak it overnight and introduce water. We squeeze it out, that's all humic acid, just food for your plants. Now we need to add air. You could use a fish pump or you could use an air stone, but we're gonna go old school and we stir it up and that's going to get it nice and frothy. It's like a brew for sure. And now it's awake. So now the bear's come out of its cave. It's got its first meal. It's growling and it needs something to do. <laughs> so we put it in a spray bottle yeah. and we literally spray it right onto the plant. Spray it on the underside of the leaf. What does that do? The plant here has stomata, which are receptors. So it can absorb all the nutrients directly into the plant, into the leaf and the flower, instead of having to come up systemically. Not only are you getting the biology, which is the nitrogen, the potassium, the calcium, but you're getting a boost to the immune system. It's all the beneficial microbes and bacteria. So they literally outcompete in the immune system all the pests and diseases that come from imbalances in the plant and the soil. Nice. Biodynamic shower, if you will. Exactly. <laughs> That's so great. Well, thank you so much for uh, letting us in on some of the information of this. And we can find you at malibucompost.com. 
Thanks, Colin. Yep, or follow Boo at uh, Twitter, at Surfing Cow. Yes, follow Boo where? At Surfing Cow. Awesome, Surfing Cow. I'm Green with Tiffany. We'll see you next time.